Hello everyone. Hope you are unharmed and in the safe place. For more than a year, the majority of messages in Ukraine start with these words. War influences not only Ukrainians' habits and communication style, it has changed our psyche, especially kids' psyche. My name is Katerina Salomanova Kirilchuk. I work as a psychologist with kids and adolescents in the charity foundation Prohevovnyu in Kharkiv. And today I'm going to tell you about how kids cope with the war challenges and how we can help them to do it. Our foundation is committed to orphans, semi-orphans, internally displaced children, kids from families with low in income, refugees, etc. However, since February 2022, each child in Kharkiv has faced traumatic events. That's why our doors are open for everyone. In foundation, I work mainly with children and adolescents who have insecure, disorganized attachment, adverse chi childhood experience, high level of allostatic loads. Today, I would like to mention research of Pileti and Ander, which covered more than 70,000 children. They discovered that people with four and more categories of adverse childhood experience has four 12 times greater risks of alcohol and drugs addiction, depressions and suicide in future. Having ACE predicts risks of obesity, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, psychological disorders, problems with memory functions, sexually transmitted diseases. You can admit some specific traits among these kids. They got difficulties with an impulse control, emotional regulations and school problems. They could lie and be stealthy from time to time because it's their protective strategy. However, they seek attention, adore hugs, and are very adaptive. So working with them requires patience and love. Love and patience, plus knowledge, of course. Obviously, kids with ACE are fertile ground to develop complex post-traumatic stress disorder and PTSD associated with war. And I observe kids have short-term consequences of trauma already. I would like to tell you about it today. As you probably know, trauma affects the brain. So the amygdala becomes more active. That's why during the first six, eight months, we observed hyperreaction to loud sounds or news about missile strikes. Now we can see habituation to such stimulus and feeling of fear. However, kids still easily lose their temper when exposed to anger or sadness. I know it's sleep problems, but I should admit that online education process compounds it. Um, the kids don't have a strict shadow, and if parents do not monitor, kids could spend all nights playing gadgets. In my work, I use different neuropsychological exercises, trainings of fine motor skills, breathing and grounding techniques to overcome mentioned consequences. Let's have a brief look. Двумя руками ведем. А, так неудобно. Да. О -о -о. Это для Пошло. того, чтобы у тебя взаимодействовали правое и левое полушарие да, мозга. А, как раз просто вот так тут сделаем и все. Вот так вот, и все получается. И вот наша домашка, Артем. One more zone in our brain that suffers from traumatic events is the hippocampus that causes troubles with memory, intrusions such as nightmares and flashbacks. To be honest, flashbacks aren't 
very frequent. Usually we can observe them only with other severe symptoms of PTSD, which cannot be said about memory difficulties and nightmares. It's usual thing to observe them while other diagnostics criteria of PTSD have not been met. Apparently, memory issues influence academic achievement in a negative way. I designed special art activities for our group lessons to help kids cope with memory issues as well. I'd like to share with you one more brief video. А что будет занятие? Будет обязательно. А что за инопланетяне? А как инопланетяне? Так, а ты будешь работать сегодня? Конечно будет. Я когда делал все глаза. Мужик, дай мне минивин. Тот ты подложил. Trauma also affects different parts of the cerebral cortex. As I've said, our pupils have already been suffering from adverse childhood experience and the war exacerbates its negative effect. Therefore, we observe problems with concentration, low impulse control, problems with interpreting emotions, solving cognitive and behavioral tasks, and difficulties with social interactions. To reduce that, I offer various group creative tasks, technique from behavioral therapy, exercises for, for a positive self-image and uh, competence. Let's observe. <laughs> Таня, як проходить експертна робота? Нікіта, як проходить експертна робота? Ну, поки вроде все нормально, але дуже багато розговорів. Ясно. Many of our pupils receive individual therapy in addition to group activities. It protected by privacy policy, so I can only show a few photos. In addition, I do need to say a few words to honor my fascinating colleagues from Trochi Vognu, teachers of art, music, biology, languages, and so on. They help kids to rebuild self-efficiency, to improve academic skills, to have reliable adults, adults in their life and experience secure attachment. It's a great contribution to psyche resilience during the war. If I want you to remember the only one thing from my speech, I would prefer you to remember that kid brains and psyche are flexible. It means that on the one hand, children are very vulnerable and can demonstrate trauma sim symptoms even after an average argue. On the other hand, it means that kids quickly and positively respond to psychotherapeutic intervention.